games. Now we gotta play them all. So what about the sand train? Choo choo. Don't panic. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't. Okay, I won't. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and we're in Boom. darkness in space. In space. Which is the darkest of dark places. Yay. What do you want not, to do? Not if you're right next to a, a sun, Barry. Space isn't super dark. No, it, well, it wouldn't be, be dark. To, dude, what if you were next to like a supernova when it's supernoved? That, you probably wouldn't live for very long. No, you definitely wouldn't. You would be incinerated. Yeah. If down mm -hmm. to every last fucking You would be stardust yeah, you would. Be through the cosmos. Lit. Barry, we are all stardust. <laughs> Even what? me? Even you, buddy. Oh, boy. We're all, we're all made of stardust. If That's you right. were in space near a sun, would you feel warm? It'd be awesome. It'd be like the permanent vacation. <laughs> is, there so, is, there a, is there a thing? Is, is there such a thing as a cold star? I mean, there are stars that are uh, radiated different temperatures. What though. if it was so hot it felt cold? Oh, Barry! Would wow, that be possible. That's yes. That's how physics works. Oh, okay. It's um, like a million degrees Kelvin, but it feels like a hundred thousand. Could there mm. be a planet? Oh, oh wait! Oh, I just said degrees Kelvin. Uh, that. Oh, oh no! I didn't even catch you on that. Oh no! What a new, what a math new. Could a planet be so cold that when you got near it, you'd freeze, or would it already be that cold out in space? I mean, it would be like a really pretty, cold ice cube. It's pretty cold in space, dude. I know. I know like that. Like it's but it's it's real cold in space. Could a planet be colder like, than real space? Real cold. Uh. Probably not, no. Okay, so space is colder than Space is really cold, yeah. It's cold as ice. Yeah. Ice, ice. Ice. I heard okay. uh, it's willing to sacrifice our love. Mm -hmm. Well, love doesn't travel through space. Oh, God. You ruined my foreigner thing, Barry. <laughs> I did. Uh, Ross, we're in darkness. Okay. Okay. You can hear nothing, see any, any, you, okay, now, you can't hear anything, remember how see this anything, worked smell last anything, time? Smell. No. Nope. Smell. You can't smell anything. No, I there's didn't nothing, read it. You can't. You, there's nothing you can smell. Oh, okay. Uh... Here, taste. We just gotta wait. We just gotta wait. Remember? Yeah, wait. Do a wait. Oh. I guess this didn't happen again. Oh, maybe I didn't save over it. Yeah. That's fine. That's important. Oh, yeah. next time I'm we're gonna touch butts was the, was the death word. You ruined uh, another Or maybe it just happens multiple Ross. times. Wait, yeah. what? The fuck ruined This the... is the same thing with the... The, the creature started a sickly blowing vapor. Fleet. At the very moment, the words, next time on Steam Train, we're gonna touch butts, drifted across the conference table and started a war. So that was my bad. Oh movie. man! Sorry, because they're not fans of the show. Figures with greater care. So let's yeah. wait. Well, Hergs notoriously hate PC gaming. Uh, we have four senses here. Four. Oh. Count them four. Uh, Taste, see, feel, smell. smell. Smells listed there. Well, well, Listen. What's the missing fifth Listen. sense, Ross? Listen. You hear the deep and distant hum of a star drive coming from far oh, above. Oh, there we are. There's an exit to port. Better let's go to port. Port out of here. You can't go that way. Why not? Why can't oh. I go that way? Maybe it's dark. The door's closed. Open the door. Starboard? Can't go that way. Try west, northeast, etc. West. East. East. North. North. South. South. Aha! Ah, there you go. Entry bay number two. This is an entry bay for the Heart of Gold. Woo! Heart of Gold. The corridor lies aft of here. There's a sales brochure here. This looks like that incredible new infinite improbability drive spaceship, the Heart of Gold, says Ford, with growing excitement. Announcement, announcement. This is no, Eddie. Eddie's super upbeat. He's like, this is Eddie! Oh, that's a good point, Bear. Thank you. I You're do welcome. appreciate that correction mm -hmm. for once. Mm -hmm. Announcement, announcement. This is Eddie, the shipboard computer. We have just picked up two hitchhikers at an improbability factor of 2 to the 21,914th power to 1 against. Let's save! Was that, was, it, was that better? That was much better. That was much better, Eddie. Look who took the keyboard. Bios. I let you have it. I didn't even reach for it. Don't make this into a thing. Brian. It's not. Brian more like... <laughs> Brian, brain. Thank you. That is a compliment. No, uh, please. <laughs> Such a nerd. I, I, I'm hashtag nerd pride, Ross. Okay, cool. Um, there's a sales brochure here. Let's take that brochure. Let's take that brochure. Come on, let's look for the bridge. You follow forward and eventually come to the bridge. bridge. This is the bridge of the heart of gold. The gangway leads down and steam. Train. What? What? Uh, comes from an entrance to port. I don't believe it. Next to the control console is Eddie, the shipboard computer. Eddie! At the controls, apparently expecting you and Ford are a man with more than the usual number of heads. The name Zaphod is stitched on his shirt. I pronounce it Zaphod. Yeah, uh, in the British, like, stuff, it's pronounced Zaphod. It probably is. 
It, it definitely it is, Barry. Is. It definitely is. Okay. With one, I know we're uh, at infinite improbability here, but with one hundred percent probability, mm. it's pronounced Zaphod. Okay, that's fair. You enough. know who pronounces it Zaphod? Me. American noobs. Yeah, that's me. What? I've never said anything other than. The and a dark-haired woman holding a handbag. Well, it seems somehow familiar. There was a molecular hyperwave pincher here. Hmm. You can see in the little screenshot there, we're in ZZ9 plural Z alpha. Oh, I believe you mean ZZ9 plural Z alpha. Z-Z. What, this is Canada now? Yeah. This is a uh, th- Barry. This was written in England, Have so we're going to pronounce it? it all like British and stuff. Oh, why is everything not spelled with a U then, huh? It, it is. Favorite oh, is it? was written with a U oh, here. I've never yeah. seen a Z bro before. Yeah. Z bro? Yeah, Z bro. No, that's what everyone calls it. Is, 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 He's trying uh, to say zebra. No, Z bro. I thought saying Edinburgh. Z Z bro. That's pronounced Edinburgh. Edinburgh. In, in, pronounced? If you're Scottish, you Edinburgh? pronounce it Edinburgh. It's Edinburgh, Melbourne. Said, London, said bruh. Manchester, say Brisbane, Zembra, say Brisbane, and Swindon. Do it, Brisbane. Oh, not bad. Thank you. you just Melbourne. Oh, you just Brisbane. You okay, it. now where are they? Australia. Yeah, where in Australia? What's the capital of Australia, Barry? Sydney. No. No. Oh, he did it. I yeah, thought he was going to do it, and he did it. You, you are know. stupid. Oh, he's blushing. Damn. Poor baby. Barry, you are the, the dumbest person I've Everyone known. knows it's Perth. Shut up. <laughs> the capital of Australia is Perth. It is not Perth. <laughs> what is it? It's Hobart. At the same time. Ready? One, two, three. Canberra. Canada. You say Canada? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Canada is the capital of Australia. You know, that makes a certain amount of sense. Did I tell you ever how I uh, I pissed off people on the Ninja Sex Party Twitter by loudly and repeatedly proclaiming that Portugal was the capital of Spain? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's some good shit. That's some yeah. good Twitter. Mm. Gotta drink up that Twitter. Oh. Uh, that was after a recurring thing that I like to do occasionally, uh, saying that the Spanish word for penis is penis, but pronounced with a Spanish accent. I learned on that makes penis. people upset. You gotta roll your peas. I learned on yeah, um, pe- penis. 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 I learned penis. on top here recently that there's a town in uh, England called Penistone. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> in, in Perth, this is really funny. In Perth, there's a suburb called Coburn, but it's spelled Cockburn, and they have <laughs> they have a bunch of businesses. One's Cockburn Ice Skating Arena, and the other one is Cockburn Removal. <laughs> oh, nice. Every time you get on the uh, on the tube at Heathrow, mm-hmm. the line goes to Cockfosters. <laughs> and so you get on the tube, and you hear this female voice go, Cockfosters. <laughs> Cockfosters. Oh, that's lovely. Cockfosters. Oh, my God, please don't stop. Cockfosters. Oh, my God, that's wonderful. Cockfosters. That's amazing. Cockfosters. <laughs> Cockfosters. slowly gets louder and louder. Cockfosters. It's losing all, losing all meaning. Cockfosters. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Cockfosters. All right, let's move on. Cockfosters. What's the next bit? Cockfosters. Um, We're playing so a this game. is where Cockfosters. I kind of lose track of how the game works. Because I, I actually have a printed out walkthrough that I haven't used until now. But this is when shit kind of gets ridiculous. So I don't know if you want to just keep running around and explore. And then we can get back to the, the walkthrough. Let's, uh, let's, let's explore. Um, did let's, we save? We, we saved yeah, recently, we did. right? We can get that. that if I got there. an idea, I'll have an idea. Oh, hey, Zaphod, how you doing? Says Ford. He's cool. Not bad, Ford. Great to see you, replies Zaphod. He's cooler. You suddenly realize that the woman is Trisha McMillian, call me Trillion, whom you were trying to pick up at a party in Islington just a few weeks ago. Oh my God! Um, I lived in Islington. Um, I lived in Islington. Shut up! 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 I live. Shut up, Barry. I'm doing a life thing. This is an important moment for me. I lived in Islington for a year. Excuse me. It's Islington. You're thinking of the Isley Brothers. I'm sorry. Islington a few weeks ago, and that Zaphod is the guy she eventually left the party with. Odd. Mm. That's so. I've, I I have not curious. reread Hitchhikers since I lived in England, I mean, and I, I didn't realize that the famous party where Arthur met Trillian was in the place I used to live. Was in Islington. I knew about this. bit. If you say Islington one more in, time, Islington. I knew about this bit. Yeah, it was in the that. movie. Yeah, it was in the movie. It's yeah. A good part. Everyone's gonna be like, well, the books better than movies. Like, I'm not saying <laughs> they're the different. Books better than the movie. I just mean I've only seen Ross, the movie. Yeah. Here, here, here's a trivia question for yeah. you: How many heads does Zaphod have? Two is correct. Yeah, nice. Yeah. What's his last name? I don't know, but he's the president of the U Galaxy. Of the what? I don't know. The U Galaxy. The U Galaxy. I don't think that's a the thing. Galaxy Ross. or is the universe? It's the, the galaxy. He's a galaxy. Hey, yeah, sure, he's got the galaxy. galaxy. No, yeah, I was gonna say that's universe. that's yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's a bit extreme. But what what's mm-hmm. Zaphod's surname? I don't remember. Begins with a B. Ben... Oh, you are terrible. I don't remember. It's I, I know. Barry, what is it? It's Beeblebrox. It is Beeblebrox. That's the yeah. one. Zaphod Beeblebrox. Put the pincer in the thing. 
Like my spaceship, Ford? Zaphod asks. Barry, no. Your spaceship, says Ford, losing his cool for a second. Oh my god. Or just for a second. He's so cool, though. Yeah, I stole it, Zaphod admits. I'm gonna use it to find the legendary lost planet of Magrethia. Oh, Barry, Magrathia, please. Let's Magrathia. pronounce things Oh, I know that. Please. I know that one. Magrathia. Let's go sit in the sauna while I explain. Zaphod, Thank you. Ford, and Trillian all head off to port. So they're all Trillian, to this spot. possibly the least well-written character in all of sci-fi history, and that's saying something. She, she has nothing to do ever. She gets more interesting in the later books, actually. Yes, it, substantially, but in the in the original trilogy, sucks. Yeah, she just kind of exists to be like, I went with the alien instead of Arthur. She and yeah, like, she okay. does basically nothing. Yeah, and she gets she gets pretty cool later on. She could have been so cool, though. It's such a missed opportunity for Douglas Adams. He could have had this awesome, like, space woman being all cool and stuff. Instead, she's just, like, there. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. She gets cool later on. Yeah. And then you get, like, Fenchurch and all these other weird characters. I, I like Fenchurch a lot. Fenchurch I'm a big really fan neat. of Fenchurch. I have nothing But even to in Mostly Harmless, I still feel like Trillian could have been a lot more interesting. That's fair. Yeah. Well, then you get wasted like, potential. You get like parallel universes and stuff. So yeah, yeah. Then it, it does get cool. Anyway. But it's kind of, don't you think it's an easy out to make someone interesting by introducing parallel universe versions of themselves? Mm, yeah, but in Hitchhiker, it's interesting because it's like the one universe where she went with Zaphod and the one where she didn't. Yep. And it's like. I do like that, but anyway, I'm just saying, he could have done more. He could have done more. He could have. Trillion, I miss what you could have been. So cool. Yeah. So I'm going to drop all because that's what the walkthrough is telling me what to do. And then I'm going to take the towel. Are we, are we allowed to admit oh, we're I using need a walkthrough? It. Yeah, I already did. Well, we um, need to. This game's fucking impossible, apparently. Isn't my towel in the thing? Oh, bro. What happened to my towel? Bro! Do I not have my towel? Did we leave the towel on the Vogon? You left the towel on the hook! I'm not a hoopy fruit. I thought I said take off. And we're naked! We're not even wearing the dressing gown! <laughs> you oh, fucking left no. it all on bro, the ship, bro! You did idiot. we just meet Zaphod and Trillian dungus. naked? I think we did. We were in space. We were space naked? I think we're space <laughs> Oh, no! Space, space that doesn't is, care if you're naked. That, oh, well, that is definitely true, but it is kind of embarrassing. It is a little bit embarrassing for, for me. I'm surprised Eddie, the shipboard computer, didn't comment on how naked we were. I'm gonna just restore real quick yeah wow Shit, i don't know which one uh Try that one uh what are those what what are those like second and third to the last I think, ones i think we need brian like read those out babby fish is when we got the bebel fish i think this was after the Just, but barry can you read no, me the name of the second to last one there such a no because nerd. we have to be back in the room where we got the babble fish because that's where you fucking left the ship i'm just curious i can't read it from oh, here what is the second to last oh, thing no, that's say? Not what we wanted damn it it's um, fucking Batty Fish. Fine. Brian rules and Ross. No, mm -hmm, I don't want that mm -hmm, one. Mm -hmm. Brian kicks uh -huh. all those yep, asses. Yep, yep, Ross yep, yep. sucks. <laughs> Before. Yeah, he does. Okay. Sweet. So this is what we wanted. I fucking hit take all, didn't I? Apparently not. Apparently not. But okay. now you don't have the babble fish. Ty no, I do. Type thou. Class case opens. Get that AVP. Uh, Take plotter. Well, it was too heavy. Drop thing. Take plotter. Taken. Okay. Great. Now okay. we're okay. But don't you have to put the things in the. Oh, that's right. No, I already did. Wait, wait. Wait, Ross, we didn't have to read Ross, the Check yourself before you wreck yourself. But did, we didn't get the poetry. We didn't get the poetry. Yeah, that no, happened we, we, already. We restored after that. Oh. Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Look, it's like nothing happened. Ha, 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 ha. South? Yeah, it was south. Interesting that you can type here as an intransitive verb. What the? Yeah. You and your transitive properties, man. I mean, as as a take pincer. Yeah, I said that wrong. I'm sorry. Here is an in intransitive verb thing. Uh, oh, I really embarrassed myself thing. with that one. You really did. Um, hmm, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, Don't got that thing all. no more. So I'm still naked. You're still naked. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you put on that gown, man? No, I don't need it. You're walking around the heart of gold naked? That is a serious galactic it's, faux pas. It's at a cool 72 degrees. I don't need it. We're wearing clothes, man. I guess, you know, in the future, although well, this isn't the future, but in space, mm -hmm. which is kind of the past, I guess. Uh, yeah, this is 85. People don't wear clothes cool. anymore, right? Uh, They do. They wear clothes. Absolutely wear clothes. Don't talk like you know how people dress in space, yeah, Barry. Don't act like a scientist. You're not a scientist. I'm not. You caught me. Um... Okay. We've made literally no progress since we started. It's this fine. Episode. Down. Look, we're in a new we're corridor. Down. Corridor four M. This is one end of a short corridor that continues aft along the main deck of the Heart of Gold. Mm -hmm. Doorways lead to four and port. In addition, a gangway leads upward. So we're gonna go south. Yeah, go I south. Don't know what go I am. south. Corridor 
aft end. This is one end of a short corridor that continues far along the main deck of the Heart of Gold. Doorways so lead to aft south. and port. Hmm. Uh, in addition, gangway leads downward. Let's keep going south. Let's keep going aft, bro. That entrance leads to the infinite improbability drive chamber. It's supposed to be a terribly dangerous area of the ship. Are you sure you want to go in there? South, south, south. Absolutely sure? South, south, south. I can tell you don't want to really. No. You stride away with a spring in your step, widely leaving the drive chamber safely behind you. Wisely leaving Telegra the drive chamber. Oh, sorry. Did I say widely? Yeah, you and did. maybe Arthur put on weight. Telegrams <laughs> arrive from well-wishers in all corners of the galaxy, congratulating you on your prudence and wisdom, cheering you up immensely. No, but I want to go south, though. Are you sure, uh, Barry? Uh, yes. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Everyone shut yeah. up. You're joking, of course. Can I ask you to reconsider? Type no. Mm, no. Type no. Engine room. <laughs> You're in the infinite improbability drive chamber. Nothing happens, and there is nothing to see. Let's look around. I mean it. There's nothing to see here. Let's Barry, look around. Barry, what? There's nothing to see. Let's look around. Don't do it. Whoa. 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 What the okay, fuck? okay. There are a few things to see here. Told you. This is the room that houses the powerful infinite improbability generator that drives the heart of gold. An exit lies four of here. Sitting in the corner is a spare portable improbability generator. There's an ionic diffusion rasp here. There's a pair of hypersonic pliers, footnote 10. Footnote 10. I guess it isn't that dangerous a place after all. So let's take all, right? Take all. Wait. On a diffusion I... rest. Taken. Pair of hypersonic pliers. Taken. Spare probability drive. Taken. Too much load. Damn it. Aw. Uh, uh, guys, guys, put... guys, can we just pause for a moment to note how heavy our load is? <laughs> <laughs> Ross, this guy knows what I'm talking about right here. Nice load. Are we load bros? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Yeah, load bros. Load bros. Load bros. Load is too heavy. Give me, Drop thing. Give me high load. Take drive. Taken. Take thing. Load is too heavy. Oh, well. Oh, no. You feel uh -oh. a wave of depression sweep over you, and you turn to see that Marvin the robot has stalked miserably into the room. Oh, mm. it's fucking... It's Snape. Uh... Hello, I'm Mar Severus Marvin, Snape. hi. Hello, Hello to, to you, too. too. Marvin wanders off. Bear, oh, yeah, Barry, can you too. do all the Marvin lines from now yeah, on? Yeah, I can do Marvin. You're gonna I sound guess. like Severus Snape. I always thought that was a weird choice. Whatever. Yeah. Alan Rickman. I really like Alan Rickman. I just don't think he's a good he Marvin. He was awesome in Galaxy Quest. He was. Yeah, I love Galaxy, Galaxy Quest. Quest is it fucking... is the best. You know they're making a Netflix series? Are they really? Yeah, it's gonna be a TV show. Are you kidding? No. That's awesome. They're getting, Are they getting, they're getting yeah, they're Tim getting, Allen? Yeah, apparently. What? Tony Shalhoub? Yeah, apparently they're gonna never Sigourney Weaver? I guess. I mean, I mean, Alan I Rickman? Sure, why not? Kevin McDonald in his sure. brief role as the MC? Sure. Wow. I hope so. So I, I wound up in the galley. We were talking about stuff, sorry. It's okay. Galley, you're in the galley area of the ship, containing a machine which is, in the, which is the state of the art nutritional technology, a serious cybernetics corporation, Nutramat. There's an exit to starboard. A carton labeled Nutramat slash computer interface is sitting here. Hmm. What are we thinking? We should look at that carton. Look at. Is there a carton. whale Did, outside? I think Ross just gave yeah, maybe. up. The carton is labeled Nutramat slash computer interface and it's closed. Bro, what do you want to do? Ross, take this one. Go. Okay, so for the Nutramat computer, ask for coffee. Ask for coffee? What? I don't know, it's a Nutra, it sounds like food. Oh, this is so British, it doesn't know what coffee is. That's adorable. Oh, ask for tea. That sentence isn't one I recognize. Okay, well, so Bro, we Bro, can... we have a closed carton. What do let's, you want to do? Let's look at the machine. Open carton? Oh, open carton? Yeah, let's open that cart. Open the shipping carton reveals a strange gun. Dope. Look at gun. Yeah, look at gun, definitely. The small gun has a large label which reads, Anti-Bug Bladder Beast Ray Gun. It bears a small label which reads, Another fine product of, Barry. The Serious Cybernetics Corporation! Take the gun. Take gun. Take gun. Uh, that'll come in handy if we run into bug oh, bladder beast. The ravenous bug bladder beast of Troll. Yeah. Which uh, <laughs> I'd rather think we might. Mm, I don't know. It seems pretty unlikely. Yeah, We're on a I ship. I guess that's true. They've only talked it up for like 10 let's, paragraphs. Let's look at that machine. There's mice on that screen. Neutron has a touch-sensitive pad, a dispensing slot, and a service panel, which is closed. Has a small label of trees. Another fine product of the it's serious it's cybernetic. It's Wonderful. It's let's touch that pad. Right? Touch the pad. It's touch sensitive. The Nutramat makes an instant but highly detailed examination of your taste buds, a spectroscopic analysis of your metabolism, and sends tiny experimental signals down your neural pathways to see what you like. A cupful of advanced tea substitute appears in the dispensing slot. Zaphod Beeblebrox walks in and presses the touch sensitive pad. 
The Nutramat produces a huge ice cold pan galactic gargle blaster. Oh, damn. I'm sorry. Stefan heads off towards the sauna, sipping loudly. Whoa, 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 what was that, Ross? Hold on. We have to go to Ross for a second. What was that? Ice cold pan galactic gargle blaster. A pan galactic gargle, gargle blaster. What is that? It's only the most uh, alcoholic drink in the galaxy. I believe the sensation of drinking it is like having yeah, your head I'm smashed in with a brick with, with a, a slice, slice of, of lemon. lemon. Barry, yes! There we go. I do you remember that now? <laughs> it's good shit. Uh, okay, so let's take that tea substance. I, I, right? I gotta say, Bear, I am so thrilled you're as much of a Hitchhiker's fan as, as you are. Oh. I did not know that. And I, I am love way it. into, uh, substitute. Do you wanna, bro, do you wanna have like a little Hitchhiker's trivia kind of thing going? Here? Uh, sure. I'm just also trying to juggle playing a goddamn game. Yeah, well, we'll pause that, that for a sec, because literally nobody watching cares. So, <laughs> uh, ask me a Hitchhiker's trivia question, I'll okay. see if I can get it. Here, uh, Ross, you shut up, you're not involved in this. Okay. Mm, I gotta think. Um... I might not be able to do it. What would... Well, it's, I don't know, it's kind of a spoiler. I don't know if we really care. No one cares. Alright, what, what was God's final message to all of creation? Oh, that's a... <laughs> are you really... Is that the kind of like bullshit entry level question you're gonna give me? <laughs> oh, you got I gotta I gotta think of something hard. We apologize but... for the inconvenience. That's true. That was God's final message to his creation. Yep. Um hmm. God, I don't know, man. Surely you can come up with something harder I than that. I could probably come up with something. Um I've got I've got a I've got a, I've got one for you. Okay. What is the real name of the restaurant at the end of the universe? Um that was just the restaurant at the end of the universe. No, no, there's another name for it. I mean, if you're talking about Stavromi Labeta, that's no, not the bro, same I'm not talking about Stavromi Labeta. I don't know. I'm also here. Ross, <laughs> quiet. I don't know. I don't remember. Millaways. Oh, it was Millaways. Yeah, I know yeah. it was. Yeah, no, not bad. Uh, what was the name of the planet um, that has the device that lets you see your, pers like, the total perspective machine? Oh, what was that? Remember that? Yeah. Uh, shit. Zaphod has to go in the Yeah, yeah, no, I know the one you're talking about. What was the uh, name of the planet? I'm pretty sure I remember it. I don't remember it. What is it? I think it was Frogstar. Th the Frog, yeah, yeah. Something I like that. I think you're right. Yeah. It, it has all the birds, or is that just in the radio one? No, I think it has all the birds. Nice one, dude. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. That's a stumper. So interesting. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we have these, this T substitute. Uh... Look at guys tweet Barry hitchhikers questions trivia questions with hashtag stump Barry. Oh, thank you for that. Uh, the, the advanced at Razadoop R A Z Z A. If he doesn't reply, O O P like that. Yeah, like that. If he doesn't reply, hashtag. With hold on, Ross, you're still not involved in this. Hashtag mm -hmm. stump Barry. That's it. Nice. If he doesn't reply in two minutes. He's cheating. He's looking at Wikipedia. Yeah, exactly. That's right. So the advanced tea substitute, about the only characteristic it shares with tea is that of Brownian motion. Oh, guys, you know, we just opened mm -hmm. a physics. door to physics. Uh-oh. What? Brownian motion. Oh. And that's a door we're going to have to close yeah. next time on Steam, Steam Train. Train. I was also here this episode. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get back to stuff that you can solve next episode. Yay!